Hello, my name is Artur Malinowski and I'm working for Macken. Today I would like to show you how it is easy to build workflows. We are work workflows with steps and actions and also using manual tasks. So the, the users are forced or asked to, to do some actions. And for that purpose I have a list manual task which is enhanced with NWS <coughs> so um, uh, I would like you to, to first to look other videos how to use actions that around parameters so um, uh, currently I'm sure you are familiar with them let's try to build very simple actions <coughs> what we will focus on now is on the columns from state and to state. So let me, whenever a new item is added, let it me at um, uh, let it go to state vacation request. And if I copy it to from state, I I would like to from vacation request. I would like the vacation to be accepted. So here in the following rows, what I'm what I say and uh, what I'm saying is I'm defining the arrows between states and the state. Um, there is no other um, states dictionary. The only what you write here is the uh, is the is the state name. If I put here a state, for example, two, that state would be different than this one. So you need to either copy it or, or write uh, spelling check spelling carefully. So from vacation request I can go to vacation accepted and also from um, from vacation request I can go to vacation rejected. And also let it be the manual tasks. So anytime anything uh, any row is added to, to the manual task it will go automatically to vacation request but once we are in the vacation request we want manual person we want some person uh, to to accept it or reject it and also once we are already in accepted so we can set another step and another step uh, just for our convenience, we will just return to vacation request. So we make some cycles, and also if it is rejected, let it go with manual task to vacation request. Sorry, vacation request. In in that case, we did some cycles. So once again, when we start, we go to request. From request, we can either accept or reject. <coughs> Once accepted, we can return to request. Once rejected, we can also return the request. Here we have an error in the syntax checks. And this is why, because once we are using manual tasks, we are uh, obliged to, to define the action title and description here. <coughs> so we will here put accept, reject, and go back, and go back. And let's put here some uh, description also. Please accept in order to. Please, you may, you may also reject this vacation. Uh, return, return. Okay, once filled, uh, uh, the act titles and description we have okay is here. Not there. Let's check it. <coughs> So we return to the manual task. Let's create some new item. As you can see, the workflow status changed automatically to vacation request. This is why. This is because we, when adding, we we go directly to vacation request. Okay. Once we are in the vacation request, if you go here, we see now that I can take an action. We are counting a vacation request and we can accept with this current description or reject. So let's accept it, for example. If it is accepted, we see the encryption, uh, inscription that thank you, your action was taken. We are now in the vacation accepted and we can go back because from the vacation accepted, we can only go back if you want. 
through manual task. So manual task means clicking that button. So if you choose go back, we are again in vacation request. So we did the cycle and we can now go for some rejected request. And again and again. What is nice here, um, comparing to standard um, workflow uh, solutions, if you go to version history, you see all the versions history that here we just entered new <coughs> item and then it is accepted request and we don't need to look for other tasks. Uh, we don't need to look for um, workflow history which is different than, than the history of an item. It's the, uh, here it is all uh, about the same. <coughs> and also the tasks are just in on, on the form. So you don't need to look for it in, in other tasks list. Let's make it a bit more complicated because we don't want everybody to accept, we want some people only to accept, for example HR department. So here I created one parameter HR, called HR, and this is the group, which is vacation users. So let if I choose here a manual task, there is another column, manual task 4. So here we define who is permitted to, to, to run this task. So let it, let it write. It's kind of script here also, so we might just put that only those people from parameter can uh, can access. If you look to the syntax check, let's see, please note the, the, um, the slight difference. Here we were based on from state by any user, and here it is based on from state by given users. So only those users can can access it. And here, let it be that uh, going back can only be done with the value uh, with the offer, offer so what we are saying now is uh, anybody can add currently who is permitted to but uh, the only the HR department can uh, accept or reject but only the offer can change his mind and go back so we here uh, through these functions we are able to define really uh, row level security so for example only the offer only only some uh, persons from the item or only some parameter which is more general let's try how it works let's create new one a, a new two if we are in the new two I can I see the vacation request, but I am not able to do it anything here because I am not permitted. Though even though I am administrator, let's see who is the vacation user. The vacation user is John Smith or Jan Kowalski. So let's uh, log on as let's be here on this side and let's log change my login to John Smith. So here I am not able to do anything and currently as, as an HR department or the one from parameters I can accept or reject. If I accept, my action was taken, the vacation accepted, but I cannot do anything. So let me just log on back as an offer. And as an offer I can go back. If I go back Again, I cannot do anything, so I could log on as, as an HR and accept or reject again. So in that very short uh, demo, we built quite complex cycle, uh, and uh, maybe not complex, but uh, very simple uh, workflow steps with cycle. But we used the uh, very strict permissions who can uh, manage uh, workflows. Okay, this is the, the sort, uh, short uh, description of the demo I show you. You may find it on Mark and Co. And uh, don't forget to check some must see also demos. Thank you for your time.